there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here in Berlin, Germany. My old stopping grounds. And the thing is, a city like Berlin has got so much history, so many museums, so many great things to do. We're here on Museum Island. There's so many museums, they have their own island where you are here. And what I want to talk about today is not the things you want to do when you're here, I want to talk about things you don't do when you come to Berlin, okay? So today's video is the don'ts of visiting Berlin. And the first don't I have for you is don't expect to see old world Germany. This isn't the half-timbered houses or the Fachwerk. This isn't the beer halls and stuff like that. This is an international modern city. You see the, the, the TV tower over there? That's when you know there was East Berlin, West Berlin. You're gonna see a lot more architecture that's modern like that versus the cathedral behind me. And that's what's cool about it. The city has so much to offer, but it is really much an international setting. So don't expect to eat a lot of German food. Don't expect to hear a lot of German when you're here. You hear lots of English and all kinds of stuff, but just know don't expect this to be old world Germany. That's number one. Because a lot of people get upset with that because they think they're going to Bavaria. Look, Berlin is not Bavaria, okay? Berlin is this international, teeming, just amazing city with so much to do from nightlife to clubs to parties to, well, aside from the party time, to museums to all kinds of great stuff. And what's cool about it is the second don't I have for you is don't freak out about your budget. Berlin is actually a really affordable city, especially for a large city in Europe. You can't beat the prices for Berlin. It's a lot cheaper here than it is going to Frankfurt or, or Munich or Hamburg or anything like that. Hotels, Airbnbs, restaurants. You can stay here for a significant discount than other parts of the country. So don't worry about your budget when you do come here because if you're gonna go out or go to the museums or go eat, it's not too bad on the budget, which is really awesome. Now my third don't for you is don't forget to pick up a currywurst while you're walking around town. For those of you who don't know what a currywurst is, it's a, basically a bratwurst, a sausage that's chopped up and then they drown it in curry flavored ketchup. Yes, it sounds gross. At first, I lived here for a number of years. It took me a year to try it the first time, okay? But once I had it, I couldn't go back. Like, every time I'd bring my sons when number one came for the first time and number two came for the first time, I'm like, boys, you have to try this. Like, it's spicy. I don't care. You must try it. It's so good. And they all ended up loving it when they were here too. So make sure you have that curry verse. And they'll sell it at, sometimes they'll sell it at the German restaurants around town. Or if you see like an imbus, a little kiosk that's selling food, like brats and stuff, they'll probably have it as well. But I mean, they love their currywurst here so much. There's even a museum on a currywurst here in Berlin. I know, crazy, right? Now, my third don't for you is don't think that there's one center of Berlin. There's actually three centers of Berlin, okay? And the thing is, you know, there was East Berlin and West Berlin, and they had their own centers that developed. Now, you see the TV tower behind me? That's Alexanderplatz. That's kind of the center of the East, or the old East. That's where that was. So you have the, the world time clock that's there. You have the, the fancy you have the big uh, shopping mall that's there, stuff like that. Then you go to the West side. You go to the Zoological Garden. You go over that side. That was like where the West wanted to show off how great they were. So you have some really amazing shopping, like going to KDW, which is Kaufhaus des Westens or the shopping house of the West, which was an amazing, amazing department store. It still really is. We still go there every time we come. And when you're over there, you got the Kaiser Wilhelm Gedächtniskirche, which is the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church, which was bombed during the war, but they left it as it is so people can see some of the horrors of war to remind them, and that's the center of the West. And then you have Potsdamer Platz, which has been completely rebuilt since reunification. It's now like kind of like the new, like international center of the city. And you can go there, and there's movies and, and movie theaters, and malls and stuff there as well. And that's what's so cool is you've got these three distinct different districts that you can kind of stay in and be in a center because what's cool is there's all kinds of public transport going around the city. And I guess that'll lead into my next stone is don't take a taxi when you're here in Berlin unless you have to get to the airport early in the morning. Otherwise, just stick with public transportation because Berlin is huge. I mean, the city is huge. Remember, three centers means you got a really big city. I mean, it's its own state as well. And if you're going to be going around Berlin, man, taking taxis will take time and costs a lot of money. The public transport system here, whether it's the S-Bahn, that's the above ground trains, the U-Bahn, which is a subway, or the buses, they go everywhere. And it's pretty affordable to take it, so just get a day pass, a Tageskarte, and you can go around all over the city, and it's well worth it, and you're going to save time and money doing that versus a taxi. Now my next don't for you has to do with the Berlin Wall. And I'd say this, don't expect to see a lot of the real Berlin Wall anymore, because pretty much most of it was torn down. What you will see now of the Berlin Wall are 
pieces that have been chopped up and they use it as a display. Or if you really want to see a big long piece of the wall, you can go to the east side gallery off the uh, Ostbahnhof, the east train station. There's a huge long gallery, well basically a huge long part of the wall that people have painted and you can go there and take pictures with that. But you won't necessarily see the wall around town, but what you might see is if you go by the Brandenburg Gate, you'll see a line in front of it that goes through and it'll show you where the wall went, Die Mawa, right between the Brandenburg Gate and the Reichstag, which is their parliament. It went right between there and you're like, wow, I mean, it was really like a no man's land where these famous sites we go see are. Yes, it was. And so, so that's one of the things. So don't expect to see the wall all over, but you will see pieces, okay? So not in situ, but more as an art piece, okay? Except that East Side Gallery, that, that you'll see some wall, okay? Now my next stone for you is, when you're by the Brandenburg Gate, you're gonna see the Jewish Memorial. And when you go there, you'll see it's all these stones coming up, and there are different sizes, different things. It's, it's to disorientate people. That was part of the artist's, you know, the artist's goal of doing that, to show the, the uncertainty of things. And it's a really moving memorial, very interesting memorial. You can walk through it and all kinds of stuff. And the thing is, is the artist wants it to be a part of life. It wants it to be, you know, <clears throat> part of the city, not just something to look at, but it's something to, inter like, interact with. But I will say for that, don't use it as a parkour course. I can't tell you how many times I've gone there and I see people like doing their Instagram pictures. Look, I'm, you know, back when planking was cool, I'm planking between them. I'm like, dude, this is a Jewish memorial to Jews that have been killed around. I mean, what are you doing? And you'll see people jumping across them and things like that. Look, I know the artist wants it to be lived in and used, but come on, I mean, have some respect for the dead, all right? So just, just FYI for that one. So, so don't use it as a parkour course. Go through it, see it, but no parkour, please, okay, please. Now on the other side of the Brandenburg Gate, you have the Reichstag. And what I'm gonna say about the don't for that one is don't skip that line that scares you to go up to the top. Because on top of the Reichstag, there's a dome, okay? And you can go in the dome and walk to the top and see inside, and you can actually see inside to the parliament. I mean, imagine, you went to the capital in the US, you can look down and see the Senate, look down there, or the, or the, or the house down, like, oh wow, cool. You can do that here, and it's really kind of cool. You see where they sit, but also when you're up there, you have amazing views of the city. So sometimes the lines can be a little long, but it's well worth going up. I recommend going at night when everything's lit up. It's really cool. Now my next stone for you is don't jaywalk. Look, I lived here for a number of years, and any time I would try to jaywalk, it was like there was a grandma there that would stop me and go, no, sein Vorbild für die Kinder. Be an example for the children. I'm like. There's no children around, it's you and me, Grandma. No, 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 no jaywalking. I mean, in Germany, they have sayings for that, okay? By, it's something like, bei grün, no, bei rot musst du stehen, bei grün lass du gehen, which is, mean, which is basically like, with red, you must stay. With green, you may go, you know? I'm, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but that's the basic idea of it. And you'll hear people say these things when you are here. So just don't jaywalk, you know, because you just, just save yourself the trouble. Um, also, when you're looking at the jaywalking, take a look at the uh, the Empermenchen or the the I don't know the traffic light guys. You'll see them. There's the there's the red guy like this, and then there's the the walking green guy like this. These are things you'll see on postcards and posters for Berlin because it's actually a protected. A, a, it's a historical thing. It's a part of the city. It's part of the the city is having these Empermenchen. So if you're looking for a T-shirt, the Empermenchen are always a good choice. I usually get my kids that when I come here without them, and they're always cool with it so hey there you go now my next stone for you we're going back onto that public transportation system what I want to tell you about the public transport is on the S-Bahn you can just walk on there's nobody checking your tickets but just because you can walk on doesn't mean don't get a ticket so don't skip getting your ticket because what happens is they have people that occasionally go through the trains and ask for your ticket and you have to show it to them and if you don't you can get fined for that okay so don't skip out on buying your ticket because you can get in pretty big trouble okay my next don't for you is don't forget to try non-German food when you're here in Berlin. Berlin is an international city. And the thing is, is when you're here, you're gonna see the internationalist, all the tourism and people and multi multi multicultural stuff here in Berlin. You really see it. And that goes especially for the restaurants. And actually there's a history of this. If you go back after the Second World War, West Berlin, brought in a lot of Greek and Turkish workers to help rebuild the city and a lot of them stayed and they built restaurants and amazing restaurants like amazing restaurants so like hit up Kreuzberg for some Turkish or Greek food heck in today new immigrants and new foods are here Indian food here is fantastic Thai food Spanish food there's so much great international food so don't feel like it's just gonna be ice spine which is like a ham hock and curryverse no 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 
have the international food when you're here, you will not be disappointed, okay? Now my next note for you is don't skip the museums. Look, I've talked about eating, I've talked about how great the partying is here and how much nightlife there is in the bars and, and, and all kinds of stuff. And there's theaters and movies and, and shows and all kinds of stuff. But don't skip on the museums. I mean, I'm here on Museum Island, okay? There's amazing museums when you're here. You wanna see the gates of the, the, the Pergamon Altar, the gates of Babylon? Oh yeah, they have it right over there at the Pergamon Museum. There is amazing museums around the entire city. You want to go see the history of, of, of the wall? Go to the Checkpoint Charlie Museum and hear about the stories of people escaping from there. Oh, no, no. I want to have a, pa a European palace feeling. Go to the Charlottenburg Palace and do a tour there. It is so, there's so much great museums, so much great history. You want to know about the history of the Dede Ea, the, the East Germany? They have a museum for that. Kurverse Museum? Yep, we've got that. Oh, you want to see old masters? We got that right over there. I mean, you want to see Nefertiti's bust? Yeah, we got that over there too. There are so many amazing museums in this city that honestly, you could spend, I mean, I lived here for years and we would go every weekend seeing new museums, new museums, new museums, because there's so many here. So get out and explore the culture of Berlin because it's so great to really go and see all these museums. Let alone the historic sites that are here, like going to the Brandenburg Gate and seeing the Ziegelzeule, the Victory Tower that's behind there, the Reichstag, going to see, the, yes, the East Side Gallery, the Wachauer Bridge, the Wachauer Strasse. You have all this cool architecture, all this cool history, all these cool museums. Go out and explore this city because the, the public transport lets you do that. So go see so much of it because it is really amazing that way. And I guess my last don't for you uh, for this is don't forget to check which airport you're flying into and flying out of, but also what train you're coming into and going out of. Because Berlin has basically two main airports. You know, you got Tegel, which is in the northwest of the city, and you got Schönefeld or Berlin Brandenburg International Airport. I, it'll always be Schönefeld for me because that's what it was when I was here. That's in the southeast of the city, and Tegel has a bus that goes to it. Schönefeld has an S-Bahn, the S9, the, the overland train that goes to it. So they're kind of far apart, so you want to make sure, are you TXL or BBI or which, which what, what sign are you in terms of which airport? It's really important to check out because some airlines might fly into one and you might have a flight out of the other one, so check for that. And the train stations, you kind of have three like mainer train stations. Yes, you have the Hauptbahnhof, the main station, which is kind of like in the center. And then you have the Ostbahnhof, which is the east train station, if you're going to be over there. Then you have the Zoological Garden, which is in the west. Those are kind of like three main stations. But all the really big trains really pretty much go through the Hauptbahnhof, the main station. And from there, you can take the subway and the S-Bahns, the overland trains from there, no problem. But I do want you to make sure you check because you don't want to end up at the wrong airport or the wrong station for where your Airbnb is, where your hotel is, or, or heck, just to get home, okay? So I hope this list helps you for some of the don'ts of coming to Berlin. Obviously, the day is getting started. I'm going to go to explore the city more. Museums open at 10, so I've got a few minutes. Can't wait to see the Pergamon Altar again. It is really cool. Actually, the Pergamon Museum is my favorite museum in the city. And the thing is, there's more stuff going all the time here in Berlin. The temporary exhibits, um, you know, all kinds of installments and things like that. Symphonies, music, concerts. Man, I've seen some of the greatest bands here ever. Berlin is an awesome city. Well worth a long weekend for any traveler. Oh, also, I can throw in some other don'ts. Don't forget to do some day trips from here. It's kind of easy to get to some, but probably the best one is going to Potsdam. You go out to Potsdam, I think it's the S7, will take you out to Potsdam. And there, there's the Sanssouci Park, which has all these little mini palaces, because it was the summer residence of the Kaiser, so there's all kinds of cool stuff out there. Anyway, I will leave you with that, because obviously I'm geeking over Berlin, so I'm, I'm sorry that I, I got a little fast in my talking here, but I love this city. It really means a lot to me, um, and I hope it means a lot to you. So if you want to learn more about visiting Berlin, five things you love and hate about Berlin, uh, five things you should eat when you're here, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. We hope you have a great time here in Berlin, but I'm not worried, so don't you worry either. Bye from Berlin. Tschüss.